In yesterday's video, I told you in detail about the consequences of the missile attack on the Odessa region that took place on March 15, as a result of which 100 foreign mercenaries, along with high-ranking NATO officers, were killed. In addition to the Western military, Russian ballistic missiles also eliminated 550 militants of the elite Ukrainian brigade under the designation Tsunami, along with its two generals. Even though, the Ukrainian authorities tried in every possible way to hide information about this missile strike, they failed to do so, since it was simply physically impossible to hide such a large number of victims among the top leadership of the Ukrainian elite brigade and high-ranking NATO officers. Moreover, as it turned out, on that day, Russian ballistic missiles struck not only the Odessa region, destroying high-ranking NATO officers and Ukrainian generals there, but also the Zydomir region in Slovyansk. Although, the Kiev regime again tried in every possible way to hide the consequences of these Russian missile strikes, in order to avoid panic and defeatist sentiments among Ukrainian soldiers, the details of these Russian missile attacks nevertheless leaked and became publicly available. So, it became known that in the Zydomir region, upgraded Iskander M ballistic missiles hit the training ground of the military unit of the armed forces of Ukraine under the number A0389. At the same time, it is worth noting another stunning work of Russian military intelligence. As it turned out, Iskander ballistic missiles hit this range precisely at the moment when several hundred Ukrainian soldiers were there, who were undergoing combat shakedown for further dispatch to the line of combat contact. Unfortunately, there is still no accurate data on the number of dead and wounded Ukrainian soldiers. However, judging by the actions of officers of the Security Service of Ukraine and the main intelligence directorate of the Ministry of Defense, Russian ballistic missiles destroyed about a hundred Ukrainian soldiers. The serious consequences of the Russian missile attack are indicated by the fact that the security service of Ukraine began to desperately search for traitors, blocking all entrances and exits to this training ground of the military unit of the armed forces of Ukraine. Moreover, mobile phones and tablets were confiscated not only from the surviving Ukrainian soldiers, but also from local residents. Over the past 48 hours, the security service of Ukraine has detained more than 50 Ukrainian soldiers, including some of its own officers. Some high-ranking officers of the armed forces of Ukraine were also detained. All of them are suspected of working for Russian intelligence. On the same day, Russian ballistic missiles also hit an abandoned boiler and mechanical plant in the city of Slovyansk. As it turned out, the day before the missile strike, Russian military intelligence managed to find out that a temporary place of deployment of the personnel of the Nationalist Battalion Da Vinci Wolves was organized on the territory of this plant. And once again, Russian intelligence worked perfectly. The Russians have waited for the most appropriate moment to strike at this plant. As it turned out, two Russian ballistic missiles hit the plant at the very moment when about 80 Ukrainian nationalists were there, who were regrouping forces for subsequent dispatch to chase Yar, in order to stop the advance of Russian troops in this direction of the front. Even though, the Ukrainian regime has once again classified the consequences of the Russian missile attack, sources in the Russian military department claim that about 60 Ukrainian nationalists were killed as a result of this missile strike. Recently, the performance of Russian military intelligence and the effectiveness of Iskander ballistic missiles has increased rapidly. 
Numerous Western experts have also drawn attention to this fact. In their articles, they claim that in two years of fighting, the Russian army has not only gained invaluable experience, but also significantly improved its weapons systems. In addition, Russian military intelligence has also significantly strengthened, which at the moment knows no equal. Surprisingly, many independent Western experts and analysts recognize the fact that the special military operation that began in February 2022 turned the Russian army into the world's most powerful and experienced combat force. Meanwhile, it became known about the destruction of another U.S. Patriot air defense system on the territory of Ukraine. This was announced by the Chief of Staff of the United Group of Forces, Colonel General Alexei Kim. In particular, on March 16, during the working visit to the headquarters of the United Group of Forces by Defense Minister Sergei Shoigu and Chief of the General Staff Valery Gerasimov, Colonel General Alexei Kim made a detailed report on the situation in the Special Military Operations Zone and the fulfillment of tasks by the Russian Army. Sergei Shoigu was shown numerous shots of the destruction of Western military equipment and enemy manpower. In addition, Colonel General Alexei Kim also showed Sergei Shoigu footage of the destruction of the American Patriot Air Defense System, along with its radar. Moreover, Colonel General Alexei Kim officially declared that this was the third Patriot system, which was destroyed within a week. Unfortunately, the Western media once again ignored the fact of the destruction of another American expensive military equipment. This is largely due to the fact that it is often the officers of the U.S. Army who operate these complex systems, and it is precisely they who become victims of Russian missiles. By the way, commenting on the destruction of the next Patriot system, Russian military sources once again confirmed the death of U.S. Army officers who directly operated this complex.